Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Govind English Teacher. Today, a great, interesting, and uh, a resourceful and respectful and uh, uh, regular speaker is with us. And he is uh, Krishna Rao from teaching community. He's a teacher of English language. Now he is with, with us and he's going to share his uh, uh, teaching experience and the uh, communication skills, everything. Okay, welcome back to my channel, sir, Krishna Rao, sir. And uh, please uh, share your uh, teaching experience and uh, say something about. Uh, uh, your journey, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Yes, uh, I like English from childhood days. Uh, especially, uh, I like English teachers. So that uh, interest makes me to choose uh, English language as a profession. So now I am a uh, teacher of English in high school. And uh, see, my journey start with uh, only uh, telling stories in English for my my friends from childhood days. That means uh, at the high school level. But you know, sir, we know very well about the stories in our uh, English readers from sixth standard to tenth standard. But uh, in our uh, days, uh, English uh, starts with only fifth class. You know, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, I I like to tell in English uh, uh, small stories Kaka, uh, that means uh, Croa. Tasty Croa is famous in those days. Okay. So okay. the my uh, my villagers, uh, some of my villagers ask me to tell uh, stories in English. They are they are also interested to listen to my voice because of uh, I tell any story in funny way. That is also one of the uh, good uh, uh, aspects. Expect I I have a very good uh, uh, humorous uh, quality. That's why my children, my students, like me to uh, listen to me. That is, you know. Uh, anyhow, uh, English, uh, as per um, as per my knowledge is concerned, English teacher always teaches students in funny way at the same time to maintain simple words. Simple words, not abstract words. So, uses of words should be simple with the simple structures. That, that, that is my teaching style. But anyhow, in, this day, in these days, I would like to uh, hone my soft skills in the form of speaking form. That's why I wait for and uh, I wait and uh, in so interest to get any opportunity but today i i get one good opportunity by participating in this uh, conversation with you i feel very happy and uh, i will share any my view over your given question sir I, my name is s krishna english teacher from anandapuram district uh, thank you, sir, uh, by introducing uh, 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 stories in our uh, teaching, you are making uh, teaching very active and effective so that the people, the students will enjoy your teaching because uh, students always uh, love to listen to stories by telling stories or uh, your uh, uh, teaching English very, very hilarious way in a good way, great way, oh, making uh, in involvement of the students or uh, your uh, giving instructions. Uh, in the name of uh, the teaching stories. That's good, sir, actually. And uh, um, how long time have you been practicing English like this? And uh, what is our uh, uh, what experience in communication in English language? Yeah. Well, I have been I have been practicing uh, in uh, speaking English instead of writing. And I want to go through any grammatical way. But actually, I am informal writer, informal speaker. Actually, I, to be frank with you, I will express about my speaking or writing, whatever it may be. I, 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 I teach or I speak or I write as per situation demands only. I, I won't go thoroughly each and everything that is right or wrong, whatever it is. But being a language teacher, we should focus on in the grammatical way. But now and then I realize that I want to, to express or write or speak whatever it may be with grammar. That's why nowadays I, I focus so much in gram grammar point of view. 
that's why i like grammatarian because without grammar sometimes we may not convey the message properly then the speak our listeners might understand in other way that's why grammar also a part and parcel of our teaching style it is very essential but accept grammar is essential uh, including our spoken english we can maintain both as a grammatical that is functional or uh, formal or informal functional english i like so much functional english is day to day we are learning that is the functional language that's why i like functional english grammatical english because of uh, lacking in grammar i know grammar but i i, uh, I couldn't or uh, can't speak consciously with the grammar that's a, uh, a little bit uh, a drawback in my speaking that's why anyhow i have a, a plenty years i have a lot of time to enhance english skills soft skills whatever it may be still i have 21 years service that's why uh, I, i have a lot of chance to be a proficient uh, english speaker or teacher or trainer or whatever it may be i hope that i can learn so much by participating like these meetings Sir, really, I am very happy to be with you. Any question, please, I express oh, my uh, th Thank you, sir. Thank you for your energetic and active and efficient, uh, uh, sufficient answers uh, for my question. I, I think you are so updated, you want to learn anything. Because being a teacher of uh, uh, language, one should have to keep on updating our self because uh, uh, knowledge has been increasing, you know, and uh, you are focusing more communication English. That is very important, sir. And if you focus on more on grammar, what will happen? The grammar rules and regulations may, may stuck and obstacle and our uh, may uh, break or shake our language. So that is then we have to keep on only that uh, uh, try to talk in informal way so that we can uh, express our views and so effectively. And I think you are using the words very the simple words so that your your students will enjoy a lot because you know if you talk like native speakers, or our students cannot understand because our students are come generally they come from the rural areas and what you are doing is good job actually. And when you reach and catch and teach the students level, automatically students will feel happy that what you are doing great, sir. Because the teacher always must be an average uh, student like that. Because we have to think an average student, then we can teach very effectively, efficiently. That's it then. And you are using simple words. That's a great sir, actually. And I think your students are really lucky to have a teacher like you. And I think they have they are enjoying because they are using uh, stories in our teaching. That's also great sir. And also you want to update that's also it is a great initiation for you. I think you you will be a great. Uh, a uh, teacher in, in in future i think you know because your nature is like that nice okay uh, anything any anything you want to say i like your channel uh, you put uh, many uh, efforts to uh, introduce uh, in, uh, many others uh, uh, states uh, speakers uh, and uh, uh, anyhow uh, they of course the uh, viewers uh, viewers may uh, inspire from uh any speaker uh, any person so uh, time is uh, uh, available for any person to change their attitude and uh, they should update uh, as per their own version i i hope that this channel definitely help many viewers to know to learn our language skills language is uh, means for only communication at the time at the same time to maintain as for me and grammar also essential so match bum we also try to know each and everything in grammatical grammatical otherwise uh, the message may not uh, understood properly by any our reader or listener whoever it may be anyhow language is more essential especially be being language teachers should know everything maximum we put our effort, efforts to uh, enhance our language skills anyhow my my strong desire is to know something in english to speak in english write english being a english teacher we should give best service to our beloved students uh, because students are always depend on teachers nowadays uh, of course the digital education is there but anyhow teacher can solve any problem or clarify any doubt directly and to to motivate directly motivate the student directly that's why teacher is the role model for our students that's why i am a teacher that's why i should be a role model for my students and my colleagues but maximum i try to be a role model for others that's that's uh, my view 
Okay, I will be a good speaker. I I okay. I, I can't I confidently say that I should be a good speaker one day. Thank you so yes, much sir, for giving this. Sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, that's good, sir. Yes, sir. That's actually uh, you want to be a good speaker. At anyhow, I think in a short time will be good speaker. I think that type of energy is with you, and you are also trying to get that uh, opportunity, and you are using the opportunity. So okay, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for coming to my channel and uh, giving a valuable advice. and also making aware of everything and sharing your experience thank you sir see you later bye good luck sir okay thank you you are always welcome